Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. In my last few deliberate dilution videos, you heard me say that I really want some new dilution stuff because uh, I'm running out of pictures to use. I don't have that many stamps with uh, dilution pictures. I've got loads of the borders and um, loads of the quotes. That rhymes. But, um, well, and some of my paints dried out like this. Uh, yeah. So uh, I did buy some new paints and now I know you need to take care of them. And, um, oh, so I hope they will stay better longer. <laughs> so let's open this package as if it's a surprise what's inside. For me, for you it is, but for me, I ordered it. <laughs> I always find it so creepy to do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Paper! And a bow made out of plastic. So that's all for the recycling bin. Although this is very good paper, maybe I can do something with it. <laughs> Set the crafter. Ah, the bill. So oh, what's this? Whoa, uh, nice yellow paper. This this is an extra gift, so that's nice. Thank you. I bought this at Hobby Complete de Duif. If you're in the Netherlands, it'll mean something to you. If you're not, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So that's so sweet, they gave this uh, for free. It's actually a really nice color. At first I thought, whoa, but it's really nice. It makes me think of Easter. So thank you. Ooh, dilution paints. So uh, I bought a new, I'm just gonna take everything out. Wait a minute. That's better. So I wanted a new, Bubblegum pink, and uh, oh, I really like this. I love this color, this is one of my favorites. But as you can see, this one, yeah, that's completely dried out. <laughs> so I've got a few paints that look like this, and uh, it's just cream. How can I show you? You, it's just a little bit creamy, but it's just gone too far i can't uh, i can't salvage this anymore too bad too bad but now i know you have to open your inks inks your paints every now and then stir them and spritz lots and lots of water in there and you stir the water through it and then they will stay okay so that's what i'm doing now it's they are awesome paints guys but you really need to use them a lot or um if you don't use them that much, you just every now and then you have to open them, spritz water and stir it. Uh, you need to take care of them. But, uh, well, now that I know... Oh, don't, don't throw this one out. <laughs> throw this one out. Yeah. If you don't take care of them, this happens. Because it's acrylic paint and uh, look at the amount of air that's in this little bottle jar. <laughs> Uh, it just dries out, so you have to put lots of water in it and make sure that these little um, dried up bits at the end, at the end, at the, <laughs> over here, <laughs> you need to uh, wipe it off with a baby wipe or a piece of paper every time you use it, so it doesn't dry out and the lid will close very tightly, it keeps the air out. But still, if I close this, there's lots of air in here, so, so that's why you need to spritz water on it. Well, I hope I can take care better of these of these ones and then I can um, enjoy them longer although I've had those for a few years so yeah okay so I bought uh, this one again fresh lime this was fresh lime wasn't it yes fresh lime looks a bit different do you see that I'm not sure if you can see it. this one is lighter hmm. nah, not sure if you see it uh, on the page Anyways, fresh lime and bubblegum pink. Those are some of my favorites. And of course, I haven't had lemon zest for a while because that one was dried out as well. The, the, the first paints I bought, most of them are dried out by now. Or almost used up. <laughs> and this one as well. This is one of my favorite colors. I love this color so much. So this is vibrant turquoise. And um, yeah, I think this is an awesome color. So these four I bought again and it's always weird to buy something again uh, because it's dried out or almost empty well when it's almost empty you want it again but because it's dried out and but these are my these four actually are my favorite colors so yeah 
I'm really happy I bought them. And then there was this new color pink that I didn't know of. <laughs> it's called Peony Peony Peony. Pe pe <laughs> I have no idea how to say this. I, know, I, I hear it in my head, I just can't say it. <laughs> well, this color. How do you say that? <laughs> this is so stupid. I can't say it. Peony. Pe well, blush anyway. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, I do have the rose quartz. With, I'm just gonna talk so you forget what I what just happened. Uh, then uh, I also have uh, somewhere uh, the rose quartz. It's just a little bit lighter than this. I gotta see if I can find it. So here's the. Well, it's a lot lighter. The rose quartz, and I absolutely love this color. And then you have the bubblegum pink, which I absolutely, absolutely love. And this is somewhere in between. And it, I didn't even know it existed. So peony blush, did I say that right? <laughs> oh well, this one. And then there is something that's not dilutions at all. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to use one of these. Um, in fact, I'm going to use this page. Um, I bought this with my friend Mario. Uh, there's going to be a whole video about that too. So this is a bit time travelly stuff. Uh, <laughs> We bought, uh, she bought this book and uh, I, I didn't buy it. I thought, mm, I don't know. I, I always find it hard to work with someone else's art. It's weird because it's made to use, but I don't know. I always have trouble with it. Although I don't have a trouble using a stamp because uh, this stamp is someone else's art, but uh, I, I just use it. But then you color it in and use it the way you want to. I don't know. I just find this difficult. But why not? It's made to use and it's really nice and why shouldn't I use it? So uh, I didn't buy it because of that. But then we just sat down and made a car, uh, an art journal page with it and it was so nice. I can show you if I have it over here because I didn't film it. So I need to keep the rest a secret. Okay, here it is. But this page is upside down. <laughs> That's just stupid. Okay, so I used this lovely lady and I used it on here and I think it's just absolutely lovely. It's smashing but um, I still find it a bit difficult because if I find a picture in in a, uh, in a magazine then I still find it a bit difficult because a photographer, a photographer difficult word, took that and uh, it's his art and oh well maybe I'm just overthinking things but I just have a bit trouble with that but I started using those pictures so now I start using uh, this. Right, let me just stop talking about that. So these are from Marlene. Marlene, what's it called? Art by Marlene. And uh, I did uh, some workshops with her last year, I think, or maybe the year before that. And she does make beautiful art So uh, and weird stuff. I mean, these are just weird. <laughs> I think the faces are so weird, although this one is so lovely. And um, I had so much fun using it, so uh, I took one of the pages out of Mario, her booklet, and I said, I'm just gonna buy a new one and tear out one page for you, which I'm gonna do now, otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> and I won't give it back, I'm gonna use it. So this page, Mario, is for you again, if I can t get it out. I'm gonna put it back in, but this is to remind me that this is for Mario. Oh, and there's a flamingo. You can't go wrong with flamingos. So this is really nice, and guys, you don't even need scissors, you can just push these out. <laughs> It's easy to use. So uh, yeah, not dilutions, but very fun. Oh, and I got a thank you for your order. Oh, well, that's so sweet. So this is where I bought it. Hobby complete to death. <laughs> okay, on to dilutions again. I mean, back to dilutions. <laughs> so I did buy this set. It was twenty one ninety nine or twenty two euros, and um, I just love it. I love these weird faces, and. I, at first I didn't notice, but these are, well, kind of flowers you can put on a stem, like this, and add some leaves. This is a butt leaf. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Over hard if you look like... Uh, no, sorry, can't unsee it. And now you can't, I'm sorry. Uh, here you can add, put on a face that you draw yourself, maybe, or something else. So I thought it would be, would be nice. I can use it on several pages and just make flower ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did I see that or and say it? Anyway, I just think that this is awesome. And I love the fact that they are already on EZ mount or foam or mount or whatever you call it. Uh, so you can use it directly. Lovely stuff. So, uh, dilutions. 
and a more dilutions. And at first I didn't want to buy this one because I thought, yeah, well, I can draw that myself. But um, but you don't, you just don't. <laughs> so if I want stuff like this, I need to draw it on paper and then use it. And that's nice, I might do that one day, but this you just get out and you stamp with it. So yeah, but at first I thought it was a lot of money, 22 euros for just a few scribbles that I can draw myself, to be honest. But like I said, you don't do that. This I use, I just gonna take, um, I think I'm going to use this a lot. So another thing I bought is a new stencil. Because you can never have too many stencils. <laughs> and I really like this one. So, uh, oh, this will be really nice to trace. I like doing that. So I've got lots of stuff to use by now. And I also bought this one. This again is uh, the same with uh, Marlene's art. I um, find it a bit hard to use, but I had lots of fun with the uh, pictures that you, with these. Uh, but these you have to color in. I, I, um, guys, I need to let go of that. It's just weird. Because these things are really awesome to use and really easy to use because you don't have to color them. <laughs> oh, I've never done that before. But use stuff like this, but they are weird. Oh, it's on my background. Look at this. <laughs> That's just weird. And this one. Oh, I always find them a bit creepy. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. Here I go again. Um, I'm trying to let go, as you can see, as you can hear. Uh, this is a picture from a magazine that she just drew on and doodled on. And yeah, I can do that myself. That's what I think. And But oh well, let go. Just use this. This is just so weird. Maybe it'll inspire me to do this myself. Because now she used art from someone else, a photograph, and she made it her own. And now she's selling it to me to use it as my, for in my art journal. So it's really weird. <laughs> Oh, but I really like them. They're just so weird. So I I'm just showing you. Hope you can see them. Uh, ew, this one is actually a bit creepy because of a tooth, I think. <laughs> I might start doing this with uh, magazine stuff myself. <laughs> so it might inspire me to do that. So these are uh, absolutely weird. I love them. The kitty is the weirdest and I really do love this one. <laughs> So I think I'm going to use this one first. So lots and lots of pages to make with all this lovely stuff. All these cute items and my stencil and new stamps. So I didn't buy the new sentiments, as you can see. Um, I have loads of sentiments and I absolutely love them. But I had to choose because this is a lot of money. And uh, I thought, you know what? My friend has the sentiments. I'm going to sit down at her place one day and just stamp the lot on the page and use those. <laughs> But I might buy them later on because I love those quotes. So, dilution stuff, new paints, uh, so I can throw these out. And um, and a little bit of Marlene's art. And I got this for free. <laughs> so that's my whole video of my dilution stuff. And I hope you liked it. Um, oh, I can't wait to start using it. What shall I use first? Well, the paints, obviously. And, and the stencil. And then something of this. I think I want to use these, but I think this one is very funny. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you liked my little haul video and uh, I can't wait to get started on this. So you'll find out, I think, next Monday <laughs> what I used first. Take a guess. Leave, leave a comment down below. What do you think that I'm going to use first? <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm just bluffing. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for watching. And all that's left to say now is hugs from Holland, groetjes from Holland. Bye. I say hugs and groetjes as if it's the same. Greetings from Holland, groetjes from Holland. And hugs from Holland is a knuffel from Holland. Oh, here I go again. Bye. <laughs>